is telling Elliot 32 Thoughts, the podcast with Jeff Merrick. They do a thought line where you can call in and also write in to give your questions. Excellent. But that's that's uh, something for another day, Elliot. Uh, here we are with the Saturday headlines. Run us through Alberta and then into Ohio. So I, every week I say I'm not going to talk about the Flames, Ron. I'm not going. It's too much. I think it's too much for the organization and the players, to be perfectly honest. But it's it's very difficult to avoid it because I think a lot of teams are waiting on Calgary, even though they've made two trades already for the other two to three they could possibly make. Now the team isn't commenting, the agent isn't commenting, but it's pretty clear from just everything we've learned today that Noah Hannafin is going to the market. And uh, I think there are Canadian teams interested in him, but I think long-term the U.S. teams are more confident that they're going to be the ones who are able to sign him. But it's it's very clear to me without any confirmation from team or agent that Noah Hannafin is going to market and the action is picked up around them. When it comes to Jacob Markstrom, who we talked about last week, I just think it's tough to watch him today. He's played great. Nobody's blaming him, of course. I just think it's a situation where he said, look, uh, when you have an offer, bring it to me and I'll make my decision. In Edmonton, as we mentioned, the Oilers, like I think Ken Holland is looking at his team and he's going to do something. But I do think one team he's one thing he's let teams notice is that for those who've asked about Philip Broberg, who's hurt right now but has played very well in the American Hockey League, he's not going anywhere for a rental. And I do believe teams have asked and I, I believe the Oilers have made that clear. And one of the other big storylines this week was in Columbus where Yarmo Kekalainen was let go after 11 years as general manager the the I think they have a huge list they're going to work their way through I don't think this is going to be a a short process but one of the things the Blue Jackets have kind of made clear is that they are looking for an experienced candidate that doesn't mean that someone has to have been a former general manager but someone who has been around NHL circles for a while I do think that that is something that they do consider to be very important so Elliot Nashville Andrew Brunette pulls the plug on a trip that was planned to the Sphere to see you too. Why don't you explain what happened? So Nashville comes out of the break. Brunette says they have a really bad practice on Monday. They lose at home on Tuesday to New Jersey, and then they were embarrassed at home by Dallas 9-2 on Thursday night. And Brunette makes a comment that people's minds are on vacations. So I wondered what that meant. And I heard what happened was they played in St. Louis today. They won, but their next game was Tuesday in Vegas. And basically what had been asked was, could the team go directly from St. Louis to Vegas instead of going to Nashville? U2 finishes at the Sphere on March the 2nd. So it was put together as a team event. The players were going to take the staff and they were all going to go together and see U2 at the Sphere after like sometime in the next couple of days. But because of the way they played, the Predators canceled the trip and said, no, we're going home and we're going to practice. Now, I spoke to Barry Trotz today and I asked him just about the decision. And he said, look, I'm not questioning our team's culture. I think we have a good culture. But when you're rebuilding or retooling, whatever phrase you want to use, you have to establish a standard that's expected in your organization, especially around their young players. He said the scores are relevant, but it's the way you prepare and play. And you can't allow the kind of performance performances we've had this week, especially at home. You cannot allow your players, particularly young players, to perceive them as acceptable. So we wanted to keep to our standards of principles and professionalism. That's why they canceled the trip. And I think you're going to talk about it with... Uh, yeah, you broke Jennifer. the story to uh, Jen Kelly and Elliot and uh, or Kevin. Mm -hmm. and they had uh, differing opinions mm -hmm. on whether it was the right thing to do. Lastly, a storyteller's storyteller. Yeah, we just wanted to shout out Helene Elliott. Uh, she announced yesterday she took out a buyout after uh, 34 plus years at the the LA Times. Her last day will be February 27th. You know, Kelly was covered by Helene and Lisa Dillman for a long time, and Helene was a big pioneer in hockey coverage in Southern California, so we just wanted to recognize her and shout her out. Yeah, all the best, Helene. Great, Elliot. Thank you for that. We'll come